Hello everyone, I'm Rob Martin, Chief Architect for Gaming at Google Cloud. Welcome to the Gaming Industry Insights session at Next on Air. It's great to speak with you today about how we're helping game developers during this time. Gaming is the world's largest form of entertainment with roughly 2.7 billion people playing in 2020 and projected to grow to 3.2 billion players by 2023 across all platforms. The impact of COVID-19 has seemingly accelerated this trend as more people have turned to online games as an interactive way of staying connected with friends and family. Video game sales saw a 35% increase in March of this year compared to 2019. And many game companies are turning to cloud to keep up with additional player demand. But there is a downside. Game developers who are used to working collaboratively in person are also seeing a slowdown in game development and production with many game releases temporarily on hold. Although we're all adapting to a new normal in different ways, game developers are still faced with familiar challenges to meet player expectations. First, ensuring that players around the world can enjoy low latency, immersive gameplay experiences. Second, understanding the unique ways that each player interacts with his or her game and tailoring experiences accordingly. Third, the need to continue producing cutting edge, cross-platform content to keep players engaged. Our goal is to help simplify infrastructure complexity so game developers can focus on building great games. We provide open source solutions and tools that give control to bring your game to life on your own terms. At Google Cloud, we're helping in three key areas. We help you build better games faster, we can scale your game to match global player demand, and we provide you with all the data, analytics, and insights you need to optimize the player experience. Let's take a look at each one. First, building better games. Many game developers need to build complex services like matchmaking from scratch, or they're forced to rely on off-the-shelf solutions that don't fit the unique needs of their particular game. Our approach is different. It's to leverage our expertise in Kubernetes to build open source game services that provide the flexibility to customize without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. We're working in partnership with the open source community and industry leaders like Unity and Ubisoft to build solutions that scale. Let's take a closer look. Matchmaking are bringing groups of players together has always been a challenge for developers. As games become larger, matchmaking becomes even more complex and requires greater scale. OpenMatch, co-founded with Unity, is a matchmaking framework that allows developers to bring their own custom match logic. Kubernetes enables much greater scale. You bring the logic, we bring the scale. OpenMatch is now 1.0 and ready for production workloads. I encourage you to visit our dev site to learn more about how you can integrate it into your next big game. Game servers are one of the most important components for delivering exciting, real-time gaming experiences to your players. That's why we co-founded Agones with Unity. Agones is a batteries-included, open-source, game server hosting and scaling project built on top of Kubernetes. It's customizable for your game's needs. By containerizing game server workloads, Agones provides a new modern paradigm for deploying production fleets of dedicated game servers. Next, let's talk about scaling your game to truly global audiences. Since Agones is based on Kubernetes, it can run anywhere you need it, on bare metal, on multiple clouds, including our own reliable global infrastructure. Our powerful compute offerings, such as compute-optimized VMs, are spread across 24 global regions, including gaming hubs such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Seoul. 
We're also planning to open nine more regions across the world in the near future. This is the same technical infrastructure that makes low latency experiences on Stadia possible. So your players are close together no matter where they are in the world. Apex Legends is a great example of a global game that leveraged our core infrastructure and reached millions of players in a record amount of time during its launch. With support from our game server hosting partner Multiplay, which has a hybrid scaling platform backed by Google Cloud. Our private fiber optic network ties our regions together. We have two tiers of network offerings and recommend our premium network tier for games. That's because it keeps traffic on Google's private network as long as possible. Traffic exits to the public internet at a location close to the player, all to provide a smooth gameplay experience. To reach your global player base, you need a globally distributed fleet of game servers, but with scale comes complexity. While Agones is great for running regional games, we want to make it simple for developers to run games at a truly global scale. Google Cloud Game Servers, now in beta, is a control plane that sits on top of Agones. It powers globally distributed, multi-cluster game server workloads. It also provides a high degree of flexibility and control, since you still have access to your underlying Kubernetes clusters. We've built powerful management features that provide visibility and simplicity in operating and scaling game servers for your global player base. Developers running Agones in production can simply opt in to the game server's managed service by registering Agones clusters with the game server's API. We know that avoiding being locked in to a specific provider is important to developers. Game Servers supports Google Kubernetes Engine workloads today, and we're working on multi-provider support for later this year. This will allow you to manage game servers on bare metal or multiple clouds, all from a single control plane. But scaling your game server fleet is only part of ensuring a great global game. Many services such as leaderboards, player profiles, and so on, rely on databases in order to scale. While we have a wide array of database options for most gaming use cases, we recommend Cloud Spanner. Spanner provides a no-ops, horizontally scalable, global database that eliminates the need for your database administrators to manage multiple shards. A single deployment of Spanner can scale to support the world's largest games. Once your game is up and running, you need to optimize player engagement and monetization. A hit game can produce billions of events per day. Embedded within those data points are insights that can transform your game into a sustainable, long-term success. BigQuery is the cornerstone of Google Cloud's complete smart analytics platform. It's a scalable, serverless data warehouse that can help you capture, store, process, and analyze massive amounts of data seamlessly. BigQuery comes with machine learning capabilities built in, so your analysts can access the data they need in real time and build ML models directly inside BigQuery with familiar SQL. BigQuery ML has expanded functionality to address game-specific needs, such as k-means clustering to build player segmentations, and matrix factorization to build advertising and product recommendations. Finally, Looker provides an analytics platform that unlocks those valuable insights from your player data for the entire organization. By using BigQuery and Looker together, you can manage and govern your player data and insights in a secure, unified and integrated platform. King is using this analytics platform to analyze billions of events per day from their hit games like Candy Crush. This data is used for a variety of purposes, including training ML player models that can simulate playtesting. This reduces the time it takes to test individual levels from days to just a few hours. We recently expanded our relationship with King by announcing a strategic partnership 
with Activision Blizzard. To tell us a bit more about how Activision Blizzard is utilizing Google Cloud, I recently spoke with the CIO of Activision Blizzard King, Jacques Erasmus. Let's take a look. Hi, Jacques. We're incredibly excited to work with Activision Blizzard King, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. Earlier this year, we announced a strategic relationship between Google and Activision Blizzard. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that came about and how this partnership helps Activision Blizzard achieve its goals? We've been looking for a partner for our uh, cloud infrastructure for many months. And you know, Google has been a key partner uh, to the gaming e ecosystem, not only in cloud, but also with Google Play on our mobile side and YouTube. So if I, if I think about the key areas um, that we really are extremely excited about when we think about GCP, um, the first one is, uh, you know, the global infrastructure uh, and, and the scale and the latency that we get from using Google's premium networking. Uh, and then also all the AI capabilities, uh, the continued investment in, um, you know, tensor processing units, um, machine learning, etc. And really bringing all those capabilities into our games is going to move the needle for uh, us massively. Uh, and then when I think about, you know, we have many data centers across the globe and how do we get the best of both worlds where we can have, you know, Anthos in our data centers um, and, and leveraging Kubernetes uh, cross uh, on-prem and cloud those are things that all our engineers uh, are really excited about. But then if we look at, you know, the philosophy of how, you know, Google's cloud platform has been built uh, with the approach to uh, using open source and really being a, a developer uh, that's very, um, creating very friendly open source solutions and really contributing to the community, that means a lot to us. Uh, and we we are very excited to be uh, in a partnership with Google on this. And then lastly, I think on the the gaming expertise and you know Rob working with you and your team for the last um, you know eight months so far has been extremely exciting. And we can see the the dedicated focus that we get from uh, working with a team of people that are solely focused on the gaming industry and uh, bringing best of breed to games. That's fantastic. Thank you for that feedback. And, and our team has really enjoyed the depth of gaming experience that we've experienced uh, collaborating with, uh, with your teams at Activision Blizzard. So shifting gears a little bit, you know, with the pandemic uh, affecting people across the world, gaming has seen an influx of additional players from people seeking to connect with each other. How has this affected Activision Blizzard's existing games? But more importantly, how are your teams and game developers being affected by this? Well, we've seen huge levels of engagement across all titles, be it uh, PC, console, or mobile. And if we look at like Warzone, for example, that's been launched as a free-to-play Call of Duty, uh, we had uh, 50 million unique players one month after launch. and. To be able to support that level of scale, we turn to Google to help us um, you know, really rapidly spin up more capacity in, in all different locations globally. And that's really helped us with the launch. So Jock, we've just started our journey together. Uh, what are some exciting areas where you're looking forward to working together on in the future? Look, I think uh, from a quality assurance perspective, I love, um, you know, the idea of using AI and, and machine learning to help that process, that's gonna be very exciting as we move into the future. Um, and then also having a single customer view of our data, be it a player that's playing a game on mobile or console or PC, and having that full 360 view uh, understanding of the player in uh, helping us to promote to that player, but also really helping us drive more engagement with the players is going to be key. And that's going to be one of the big initiatives that we're going to be using uh, data for uh, going forward. 
Thank you, Jacques. Uh, we're looking forward to working together with all of those exciting initiatives uh, with your team uh, across Activision Blizzard King and also a wide range of publishers, studios, and developers to scale out these innovations across the gaming industry. So for more information on how Google Cloud can help your game, please visit the Next On Air site and check out our gaming sessions packages and further breakouts. Thank you.